What's good everybody and welcome back my IRL fam. For those of you that are new, my name is Nick. Welcome to the channel. We do a lot of streetwear and fashion type videos here. And for the video today, we are going to be reviewing all of the accessories that Supreme is going to be dropping for fall winter 2018. Let's get right into it. I've been working hard, I'm in a groove, eh? I feel like I'm standing so on if you guys are interested in a lookbook preview, I've actually already done one of those videos. I will link it down below. Go ahead and watch that as well. But the accessories are so fire. The pieces that they have dropped, that they have displayed to us already are just so, so great. I had to make a separate video for these just for themselves. So we're going to hop right into that right now. Oh my God, so much gas right here. So much gas. Let's go ahead and hop into this first one right here. So Supreme is going to hit us with a mountain bike. Oh my gosh. I'm sure this is going to be one of the pricier items right here, but it is fire. This is so perfect. So we've seen a few seasons ago, they dropped that moped. We had the kayak that dropped last season. They're always hitting us with some methods of transportation. Gosh, shout out to them, always looking out. And this time they are dropping a bike. I would love to cop this bike right here. So it looks like it is a uh, collab item here with Santa Cruz. It is a chameleon 27.5 inch bike. I don't know what any of that stuff means. I'm not a bike expert or anything like that. I just know that it looks awesome and I'd love to cop. Next item, this has got to be the best accessory that they're dropping. Comment down below. You let me know at the end of this video what you think the best accessory is. But man, to me, it has got to be this teddy bear right here. This thing is amazing. Like, who thought of this? I know we have seen some similar bears. I know they dropped, I don't know if it was actually official or not, but they dropped that one bear when they did the LV collab. I'm pretty sure I've seen like a Gucci or like, maybe it was like an MCM, like monogram bear. Anyway, some designer brand. But Supreme went ahead and hit us with this little teddy bear guy wearing this great box logo sweatshirt. Oh my gosh, this thing is fire. I buy a lot of accessories just to display, like if you guys have been watching the channel. First off, shout out to you IRL fam. I love all y'all. But I cop a lot of stuff just to set around, just as like display pieces, just as things to have. And finally, they hit us with a piece that is literally just gonna be a display piece. I'm sure you could snuggle up with it at night if you wanted to, but man, this thing is so fire. This is honestly a must cop for me. Outside of the box logos that are dropping, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it already, they are dropping box logos. This is probably the next best piece that I feel like I need to pick up. Gosh, this thing is gas. Comment down below and let me know if you love it too. Next item right here, we have these inflatable chairs. These are pretty fire. So we see it in like a clear, translucent. I don't know if it looks white just because the background of the desktop is white right here. But we see it in, let's just call it clear and a yellow. Both are fire. I think I like the clear better. It looks like we've got a box logo that's going to be on the back side of this inflatable chair. But you can read it, you know, seeing through the front. These are pretty dope. Hopefully they're not too terribly expensive. But these are really, really cool pieces as well. Next we see it's a Supreme Honer Melodica. I don't know what this is. So it comes with 32 keys, mouthpiece, and extension. Like... Whoa, what is this? Is this just like a keyboard? At first I saw this, I was like, oh cool, they're dropping a keyboard, but why does it have a mouthpiece? Like, do you need to blow into it while you play to get it to play? Does anybody know what this is? Please comment and let me know. Depending on actually how this functions, maybe I'll cop, maybe I won't. As you can see, it comes with this nice little carrying case, which means it must be legit. That was legitness. Yeah. So it kind of reminds me of maybe like a harmonica mixed with like a bagpipe where you gotta blow into it while you play it. I don't know, but it, it's pretty cool. It, it's all white, just a small box logo branding here on the one side of the keyboard. Next, we have this Tag Heuer stopwatch right here. So it was leaked before any of this stuff came out that Supreme was going to be doing a collab with Tag Heuer. And it looks like we are seeing this in the uh, stopwatch form right here. So a pro pocket stopwatch. It's all right. I mean, if you like stopwatches, if you need a stopwatch or anything, you could, uh, you know, hype your life up and get a Supreme one. I'm not too wild about this. What I think would be super cool and what other people are probably thinking about as well is if you took the stopwatch off of this lanyard right here and you tossed your keys on this little lanyard that would be cool you get a nice little hype lanyard with all these little red box logos stretched across the lanyard and toss your keys on there that would be pretty cool i think that could be a good use for this this is also a banger right here so we see the virgin mary blanket if you guys did watch the lookbook preview that i dropped and if you didn't linked in description go ahead and watch that you know that they are dropping the jesus and mary all over graphic print for the hoodies and the sweatpants and now we see this virgin mary blanket this thing is awesome man it's nice so it's all cotton with jacquard graphic on here man it's fire it's just it looks so nice it is so beautiful i don't know what i would do with this thing i would love to display it so that you could see the graphic you could read the graphic i don't know if like hanging it on the wall is too corny or not maybe i'll just leave it on my couch but man this thing is awesome it's so nice 
And right underneath the Virgin Mary, we see the Supreme spell out in this old English type font. This thing is awesome. Next, we see these chain license plate frames, and it says that they come as a set, like it sold as a set, so I guess you get the gold and the silver together. These are pretty dope, man. Supreme is always hitting us with these random accessories, and this is definitely one of them. I love these. I think these are so cool. It's not up there with the teddy bear, and I actually like the Virgin Mary blanket better, but these are a really cool piece as well. Hopefully, I'm able to acquire both of these right here, and I hope that they, I assume they must drop with this gold and this silver plate together, like that as a set. I don't know if maybe it comes with a set of two gold or two silver if that's the case like i'd probably have to lean towards the gold like i think the gold is a better look but i really think it would be neat if they package you a gold and a silver that way you could switch it up you could put one on your car you could put one on bay's car you could hang them both on the wall so many possibilities next accessory we see this rc car once again such a random accessory but so cool so supreme tamia hopefully i'm saying that right Hornet RC car. This thing is crazy. If you're into RC cars, once again, hype up your life. Get the Supreme one right here. I'm gonna have to try to cop this puppy right here. I, I've never really been into RC cars or anything like that, but you know, Supreme slaps a logo on there and I'm there, I'm into it. But no, <laughs> I really would like to see this. I think it's just a really cool display piece. I have no idea how much these are going to be. If you guys are into like RC cars or you know anything about these, comment down below and let me know what you think the estimated retail on this is gonna be or what your estimated retail on it's gonna be. But either way, this thing is fire. As you can see by the graphic, looks like we got a flame graphic on there. This is a really, really unique piece right here. I talked about this in the lookbook video. I love this gold pendant. I've seen a lot of people, or I've talked to a lot of people that have been hating on the pendants that Supreme has dropped for the last few, and maybe people hate this also, but I think these are so cool, primarily because they got this ruby hit right here. Man, will this let me zoom in? Okay, hopefully this isn't too terrible quality. But you can see we got this panther here in all gold. We got Supreme kind of etched in the back right here. And we've got a ruby for the eye. Such a fire touch. Man, I think that's so cool. Not too much else to say about these. If you know anything about Supreme, they drop, I, I don't know if it's just every fall, winter season or if it's every season during week one. I think it's every season during week one. They always drop a gold pendant and this thing is tight. Man, this is nice. I love that ruby hit for the eyes. Such a nice job. We see some FU trays on here. I think it's cool in concept. Like you know, they do the spell outs with the fingers. I can't do any of these, but of course it's like a million more fingers than what would be on either hand to do these spell outs. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the profanity if I'm being totally honest with you guys i get it it's kind of like built into supreme's dna like that's what they kind of come up on having a, a little bit of shock factor within their stuff and i think these are clean i like the colors on everything but i'm just not necessarily a huge fan of the profanity personally next we see this scale right here i love the fact that they did it in all red you see we get this little supreme hit right above the uh I guess digital readout is what we'll call this. Pretty simple accessory, but once again, you know, Supreme hitting us with all that random stuff. This one's pretty cool right here. I love these figurines. I don't love them that much, but I think they're really unique. I, I love when brands, and especially Supreme, drops these unique pieces on here, because where else are you gonna find this? Bearing that they're not super expensive, I would love to cop both of these just to have as little display pieces, but it's the male and female anatomy model, plastic models with detachable hand-painted organs, and they're supposed to be eight inches each, I'd say if anything, I'd have to go with the woman one here just because we got this little Supreme baby in here, a little hype beast baby waiting to be born. But I would love to get both of these. I'm sure most people will be going after these as a set. Just hopefully they're not too, too terribly expensive. If they're expensive, not worth it. If they're pretty cheap, like if they're around 20, 25 bucks, I would love to cop both of these. I think it's a really unique piece. And they kind of match that uh, graphic tee that was leaked earlier with the organs on the front. So I don't know, any correlation? Maybe, maybe not. Comment down below, you let me know. This stepladder is also fire. I've already had a couple of my friends hit me up and say like, yo, I need that stepladder. And I'm with you. I want the stepladder also. I hope we can all cop the stepladder. Just for those nice, high, hard to reach places, pull out your little Supreme stepladder. It looks like when it closes together, you get that Supreme spell out down at least one side. I'm assuming it's gonna be on both sides right here. And then as you guys know, I got these really high I, uh, well, you can't really tell from the videos, but it's my cabinets, and then above it, there's some shelving up top. So, you know, I need my little step ladder to get up there. That'd be tight. Moving right along, we've got this diamond plate toolbox. This thing is also super dope. I love this so much better than the, um, I'm gonna, I, I forget the name of them, but the, the boxes that they dropped the last couple seasons, we've seen those 10 boxes that they drop almost every season. I love the fact that they did this toolbox, and I love this kind of like diamond tool pattern that they have on here with the huge Supreme spell out on the front of the toolbox. I think that's so much better. So when you set it out, if you want to display it, if you're somebody like me that just likes to display your accessories, you can get that spell out right on the front and it's not on the top where nobody can see it. Or I think it was last season or maybe the season before they did it tonal. So it's like, 
uh, I, I can't really see that. But this is really dope. If you're going to use it for tools, shout out to you. I don't think I'm going to be putting tools in there. I would love to be able to acquire this and maybe put my stickers and little accessories in there. But I think this is a really, really cool piece as well. Moving right along, we have these big old markers. I mean, not too much to say. It's just a marker. It's got Supreme on there. If it's cheap enough, maybe I'll try to cop if I can just add it to a car, but I'm not too hyped on this. This thing's a little bit better, but also kind of weird to me. So it's a thermos that I guess you can put food in there. Comes with this spoon. Not too hyped over this. I think it's neat that they're doing this little thermos type piece. You get this red box logo across, but nothing too, too crazy. We also see these juice packs. So these leaked earlier and people have been hyped on these slash disappointed with these because they're not doing the iPhone 10. Me personally, I couldn't care less because I don't have an iPhone 10. I have an iPhone 8 and if you have a 7 or an 8 these will fit your phone I think there's the for the regular and for the plus I hope we see that see the red and the black released in both sizes if it's just the black for the smaller one which is what I have personally I'd be a little disappointed I'd rather have the red but if they do red and black for both regular size and plus size I think that would be really really cool and I think these are a little bit more practical not that there's anything wrong with the Mophie's but slightly more practical than the Mophie because you can just toss your phone in this like this is a phone case you can keep it right there it's not like an additional thing that you need to carry with you when you have the Mophie for example Supreme mirror pretty plain you get a little bit of branding on the front of the mirror you get a little bit of branding on the back of the mirror this is one of those pieces that if it's cheap enough if the week's not too crazy I would try to go for this see these cough drops like all right they're cool but like all right this is pretty cool. So Supreme teams up with SOG. I think that's how you say it. That's how I've been saying it this whole time. But they team up with SOG pretty frequently. And this time we're seeing a Keytron folding knife. It's pretty dope. It looks like you can just toss it on your key ring. So if you want to have it as like a keychain type thing, you could do that. Nothing too crazy. I do like the red a lot more. Most of the accessories I do prefer in red. But it looks like a little mini knife right there. Nothing too crazy. Same thing with these. I mean, if you cop the bike, you might as well go ahead and cop these magnetic bike lights. But I don't really know how these are supposed to work. I'm not sure if this part is the light or the magnet. Like the white part, is that going to light up? Is that the light? But then this gray part also looks like the magnet. If you know, please comment and let me know. But these are cool little accessories. Hopefully they're not too much money. I think they'd be really neat to like stick on the fridge or something like that as well. Multiple uses for these. I mean, it's something simple. They look like they're going to be pretty tiny. They confuse me more than anything is what I'll say. We see a pen. We also saw a pen last season. If it's anything like the other pen, it was like 50 bucks Pfft, not worth it these are really really nice so a leather id holder slash wallet or plus wallet whatever you want to call i love all these colors red classic you know supreme and red hand in hand together forever the camo is really clean the black is really clean i like all of these not too much to say about them but very very clean piece i would love to pick up one of these Next, we see this New York pillbox. Honestly, not a huge fan. It looks like they've got pretty good detailing on the front of this thing, but overall, like, I don't need a pillbox, and I don't know. It, it just seems like too small of an accessory for me to want to collect. But if you like the detailing, I mean, it does have Statue of Liberty on there. The colors are really nice on this thing. I think they did a nice job on it. It's just like, I don't know. I, I don't like it. I don't need it. I don't want it. Next, we see these pins. So you've got Supreme logo on the front of this lock pin. We also see this, once again, profanity. But what's really cool about this one saying, <laughs> is it's got these kind of pearl spell outs on there, which I think is pretty unique. I don't typically go for the pins. I mean, if you like the pins, I think this one's unique if you don't mind having a bad word pinned on your jacket or book bag or wherever you want to put it. These scarves are all right. They're all right. I mean, I think that's a perfect way to sum it up. I don't like wearing scarves personally. And the thing about scarves is depending on the way that you wear it, you might not even be able to read the spell outs anyway. So it might just turn into more of a display piece than anything. I think what would be really, really cool is if you've got a uh, thin kind of maybe like a, a bookshelf or like a thinner display table, like a, why can't I think of this? I don't know, is it like a, a thinner <laughs> type table thing? You could lay this over the top and kind of set your things on top of that. That way you get a little bit of this repeat graphic hanging off on either side. I feel like that could be a cool use for this. But as far as wearing it, how it's meant to be worn like a scarf, like I'm not a huge fan. These are really cool. So we see these hand warmers. I love all the colors. I'd say I probably love red then black then camo then blue but these are really neat just strap it across your waist a little hand warmer perfect for the fall winter season for those cold cold days we also see some thermal pants so we got some long johns here we also see a thermal top then we go into we've got a set of trucks we always got trucks it looks like the exact same spit fire wheels from last season nothing too crazy and then these last couple items are decks once again we've got the supreme fu spell out on here i love the colors that they did on here these color gradients are amazing i really love this like pink purple magenta one i think this one looks so good i might have to pick up a deck once again i'm not a huge fan of the profanity but i love the colors that they did on here and then i really like this last deck as well i talked about it when we talked about the supreme leaks in a couple videos ago which will be linked in the description 
version. But we've got this water painting, so they're calling it the bedroom skateboard, but it's got this girl in her little Supreme boxers. We see more of this like bedroom setting, a lot of flowers, floral print on the top, which would you know be her wall, a couple like random drawings on the wall, stuff all over the floor. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like there's somebody else in the bed. Wow, I didn't notice that in the graphic on the t-shirt. But I think this is a really, really cool piece as well. It's pretty subtle. There's no out loud screaming Supreme branding on here outside of on the waistband, unless I'm missing something. Looks like it might say Supreme here on the shirt that's on the floor, but I think it's super cool. It kind of alludes to a lot of the stuff that's going on. The more that I look at it, it looks like there's a dragon here on the back wall, which as you know, we've got the dragon embroidery jacket and pants. This says Supreme on the sweatshirt, so you know what I mean? That kind of goes along with something. I might be tripping, but I could have swore I saw a uh, Campbell's Soup logo on something. We got a little knife here. Maybe that's like that little keychain knife that we talked about. A little, <laughs> I think this is a dog. It's like a dog with two heads here on the bottom of it. That would be, I guess, on the floor. And we have seen the dogs that are, it looks like they're spray painted on the back of that twill jacket. Was it a twill jacket? It was like a, I don't know, nylon jacket maybe. And then that varsity jacket. So maybe that's what this piece is kind of alluding to with some of the other pieces from the season. But that is going to wrap it up. That's all the accessories that we've seen so far. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I would love for you guys to comment down below and let me know what accessory you're most excited about. Which one that you love the most. Which one that you hate that you're like, why? But if you liked the video, please leave a like. Let me know that you like this type of content. I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel as well and join the IRL fam. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.